Hey, welcome this morning to our study in the book of Malachi. It's a book that has a lot of, it's at the very end of the Old Testament, but it's got a lot of flavor for us at the very end of time. So we're looking at Malachi chapter 1, and today we're going to look at verses 4 and 5. Let's read it. Even though Edom has said, we have been impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places, thus says the Lord of hosts, they may build, but I will throw down. They shall be called the territory of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord will have indignation forever. Your eyes shall see and you shall say the Lord is magnified beyond the border of Israel. So let's think about this a little bit. We started off yesterday morning with the first of this series of questions, I've loved you, and the people said, well, okay, you've loved us, but what do you mean by that? How is it that you've favored us in any particular way? And he says, I chose you over Jacob. Well, now this morning we see, even though Edom, that's a descendant of, of, of Esau, so you can kind of see where that fits together. Even though Edom has said we've been impoverished, but we'll return and build the desolate places. So e Edom or Esau is saying, you know, we're going to build things up in a good way. And God says, I, I, no, I've chosen Jacob. I've chosen Israel. I've chosen my people here. You, were, you have opposed him. And if you go back to the history, you see there was great oppositions between the two and the group, the peoples that developed out of those two. And God says, you know, you're not going to prosper over here. But they're saying, oh, we're going to build things up. Things are going to be prosperous here. But it says, thus the Lord of hosts says, you may build, but I will throw down. In other words, I'm going to prosper the one I'm going to prosper. I'm not going to prosper the one I'm not going to prosper. You can't, you can try, but good luck with that. You can't resist me. I am the Lord God of heaven and earth. It even says in verse 4, you are the people for whom the Lord will have indignation forever. And then it says, the Lord is going to be magnified beyond the border of Israel. God always had a plan. He always had a plan to to take his people and use them for the help of all humans, all people on the planet. And so God is seeking this. His people have to have a right conception of him, or how in the world are we going to transmit a right understanding of him to the people beyond the borders, so to speak, of Israel? Some thoughts there. Uh, God has chosen his people, and he has a purpose and a plan, and and did that somehow disappear? Did that somehow go away? No, because today you and I are chosen of him to do a mighty work in a crazy time, and he wants to use you. I'm sure of it. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, as we're again studying your word, we want that you will be able to use us. But as the people in Malachi's day were confused and getting their own stuff in the way of your stuff, help us, Lord, not to be confused or not to get anything in the way of your stuff. Lord, use us. Help us to have our eyes to be open, Lord, so that we can see the things that are in the way so that Jesus can use us to the utmost. This is our prayer today, and so we ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, friends, God be with you today and all that you're doing as we are looking to apply to our lives the teachings of God's messenger, Malachi.